I don't know if that's gonna stay. It looks a little crooked. I think it's um I think the table is crooked. But this could be the carpet. Anyway, um today is day forty two since my surgery. It is exactly six weeks since I had my jaw surgery. And um tomorrow I get the bite splint taken out. I uh I go to the the surgeon in the morning to see the to have the bites one taken out and I imagine that they'll do more x-rays and stuff but I'm not 100% sure I didn't ask I um I have to ask him though so it's on my list because I want to make sure that if he's going to take more pictures that we do them tomorrow or we make an appointment for me to do them and I got to go back on Friday for some for a different appointment uh, not with my surgeon with another doctor and um If, uh, if he needs the pictures, I can do it then. <clears throat> but he told me that after everything's all set, I can, um, I can go through all the pictures and the x-rays and stuff. And, uh, and if they took any pictures during my procedure, then I can look at those too. And pick the ones I want so I can have them, uh, for my site. And, uh, so I gotta make sure I remind him, because I don't want to let too much time go by, because they'll, the army... Um, my surgeon's army, but there's also Navy surgeons there too, so my surgeon's army, but the medical, the medical system will transfer him, uh, eventually somewhere else, and then I'll be like, hey, where are my pictures, and I'll go in there, and nobody will know what I'm talking about, <laughs> so, uh, they may know what I'm talking about, but I don't want to risk it, I want to make sure I got everything, because I'm working on the site design now, well, not at the moment, I'm, I'm eating. But, um, you know, every time I do the videos, I'm eating using a cake decorating bag. But I, I do sometimes use the syringes. This one's my water only syringe. Um, and most people uh, have these, these catheter tip syringes. See, this plastic end on it is called a catheter tip. This is 60 cc's, which is about a quarter of a cup. <clears throat> um, but the, uh, Instead of using the brown rubber like catheter tube, I have a uh, an oxygen tube, um, the cannula. I think is what it's called. But the uh, I just like let me see if it, I don't know if it's gonna focus because it's it's focusing on me anyway. The um, the green tip, and then this tube, and it's actually a long tube. I I want to say it's like. Four to six feet, probably, probably four to six feet in length. It's all wrapped up. They gave me a couple of those because I asked for them. And uh, if you get the other syringes, though, where it's um, it has like uh, I don't know what kind of tip it is. I forget. But it's got it doesn't have this. It's got like a small, um, just a little tip with a little tube in the middle of it. So the reason I like this one is because the tube is actually. Uh, the tip is almost as wide as this tube, but the middle portion of this tube, there's only two ends, so the ends go on the catheter tip, but the other, but the middle portion I cut and I use on the smaller syringes, um, or on the other, the other type of syringe like this, so I think that this tubing, though, gives me more control, so like when my jaw had all the elastics, this, even though it's firmer, so you worry about like snagging or cutting yourself, it fit. I've had, I had much more control going in the back of my mouth like that. That was really attractive. I really shouldn't do that. Um, anyway, uh, so what's up today? It's Tuesday, six weeks exactly. I feel great. I don't look too bad, um, considering there's no makeup. I, um, I could have started wearing makeup again, but I decided that since I committed to not wearing it, um, I was going to stick to my commitment. Because if I gave in there, then it's likely that I would have given in somewhere else also. So um, I told myself no makeup for the six weeks, and I didn't use any. Well, it was mascara. But uh, does that really count? I don't think that counts. I didn't put makeup on my face. And, uh, 
I'm glad I didn't, though, because I've been wearing makeup almost every day since I was uh, 17 or 18, and I'm going to be 31, so this was an important experience, and, uh, and I think that it makes me appreciate my makeup that much more. I have things like this on my list of questions and answers that I've gotten from the surgeon. And, uh, in my own research, I mean, I have literally spent thousands of hours researching this stuff, uh, since the beginning. So it's, um, I have an awful lot of information and that's why when I say things like this new site that I'm building is not a blog, it's a resource. I mean it. If I just let this information go and I don't, like, if I just use it for myself now, and I don't ever use it again, I don't share it, I mean, to me, that's a lot of wasted time. And of all the things that I hate to waste, time is probably my biggest pet peeve. Because you're, you only have so much time. And if I spent the time to do this, then somebody other than me should be benefiting. Because um, I just, I can't, I cannot put thousands of hours into something just for myself can't do it. Um, the design is coming along though. I really like it. Um, I'm aiming for simple. Like, I mean, I don't want a really complicated site. I don't want people to go to it and be like, oh my God, where do I go now? You know, because you don't know. I want it really easy to navigate so that people of uh, just about any age can understand what's going on. But also, um, if you, uh, I have sections for surgeons, um, because there are some things that surgeons don't think of, and my experience with my surgeons has shown me this, and so I think that it's important for me to share that information with other surgeons, so if they're looking for it, then they're like, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, well, this is the information you should be giving your patients. Um, and there's also sections for, um, Family members, spouses, friends, uh, anybody that works in a supportive role with the patient. Uh, because some things I've noticed is a lot of people have uh, weak or inefficient support systems. Where I am now, I only have my husband uh, physically with me. But my family, uh, even though it's difficult to talk or in the beginning I couldn't talk at all, I still had support from my family, uh, even from a distance. But I'm capable of being my own support system. So, uh, I mean, but not everybody is. And I think that it's important for other people to understand how to approach the patient that's dealing with surgery recovery because there's a huge psychological factor involved in recovery. And uh, when patients are, I should not touch the table, <laughs> when patients are affected by the, um, the people that they're surrounded by, then that can influence their healing process also. So, um, I mean, not to, not to make that sound any more confusing, I basically lay it out. So these are, these are the things you need to understand as somebody that's in a supportive role. And these are how you can be supportive. These are ways you can be supportive um, without any extra effort. I mean, you don't have to really go out of your way to be supportive. I seriously was doing dishes and laundry the day I came home from the hospital. I didn't have to. Um, my husband would gladly do it. But I, um, I find that as long as I stay somewhat active, then I'm, I feel an awful lot better. And since I couldn't work out, I, uh, I used, um, you know, simple household chores, cooking for myself, and, uh, you know, Japanese review, reading, TV, um, games. I use that stuff for, uh, to keep me busy, because I refused to nap during the day, um, even in the beginning. Now, this is just about 10 minutes, so what I'll do is I'll end this, and if I've got more to say, I'll just make another video.